I've often told people that just about the only ism that I subscribe to is pacifism. I'm almost knee-jerk opposed to war. Um, and I've kind of got a nuanced reason for that, um, as anything else. Because I know that there's something in me that approves of war. I'm fascinated by military history, and I'm fascinated by all aspects of military culture. But I'm opposed to war. Wars are great as long as they're safely in the past. <laughs> um, and the reason why I say that I approve of a lot of stuff surrounding the military um, is the fact that, well, there is something in it, I think. Um, there is something in war that fascinates all of us, and there is something in violence and risk and insanity and irrationality and craziness and danger and all that that fascinates us. Um, the best example of that, I think, in popular culture is the sort of stereotypical insane officer of the French Foreign Legion. The French guy who was very good at military college, but all his other all his other cadets thought he was insane and crazy and everything, so they put him in charge of the French Foreign Legion. He might have been a very good officer, but there was something wrong up here. <laughs> um, the guy that would go, Vive la mort, vive la guerre, vive la sacre mercenaire. You know, long live death, long live war, long live that cursed mercenary. That's, you know, the stereotype. Um, there's equivalent of that in just about every culture. Um, there's certainly equivalent of that in my background, the Irish. Um, when Look at that, eh? Look at that. There's just a pile of shrapnel, lead, fire, everything flying right, right at us. Let's charge into it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? I'd never do that. But part of me understands that feeling. <laughs> um, this is nuts. We're all going to get killed. I'm in. <laughs> you know, um... Again, I'd never do that. I, I'd, I'd probably, my nerves would give out immediately. I'd probably collapse into a blubbering mass of tears and cowardice, I guess you'd call it. But part of me understands that. Part of me gets it. I've got a bunch of clips below uh, from, you know, from the Battle of New Orleans, from um, various Hollywood movies. Um, I'm not glorifying war with any of them. I'm not trying to say that anybody is bloodthirsty, and I'm not saying that anything is decent about any of it. It's all madness, if you ask me. But there's part of it in me that likes it. <laughs> Are you afraid to admit that to yourself? Maybe you, maybe there is part of you that, you know, or maybe there isn't part of you that likes it. But can you understand, at least, the attraction? <laughs> what do you call that? That's not reason. That's complete irrationality and it's enormously seductive for some people and i would probably say a lot of people 